Each week on Weather World, we share one of your snapshots as our photo of the week. And as I'm sure any and all of our viewers who have submitted those photos would tell you, the weather plays a big role. It affects the subjects and can even be the subject. Jordan Jenna, an undergraduate student in the Penn State Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, has the developing details. If you break down the word photograph, you will find that photo means light and graph means to write. Weather can be used in photography to write a story solely based off the lighting in a photo. Weather is a specific component that affects photography because of the lighting the weather presents when there are different types of weather conditions present. Not only is the beauty of weather being captured in one single photograph, but it also changes the ambiance of the photo depending on different weather situations. Mike Maimone and Simon Wachholz, both student meteorologists who express a passion for photography, shared their insight on how weather affects the photos they have taken. Both Simon and Mike have learned over the years how weather and photography go hand in hand when trying to tell a story. Different weather conditions tell different types of stories. So cloudy weather will give your photos kind of a monotone look to them. Everything will have kind of like a gray, um, grayscale type look, especially if you're taking photos that have a lot of black in them. But if you're taking something with uh, a lot of fair weather, uh, you'll get nice vibrant photos. Vibrant photos versus grayscale photos have a different feel to how the photo is going to write its own story. Have you ever heard of the golden hour? Social media has this running popularity of photos specifically taken during the golden hour. Golden hour photos are taken when the sun is setting. The angle of the sun during a sunset exposes the ambiance of the photo in a brighter way, changing the contrast and the tint of the photo, making it have a specifically golden aesthetic. Uh, typically when you have the sun really low in the sky, it kind of has a really, really nice gold tint to like everything, um, especially on the ocean when you have the sand, everything just kind of turns like gold. All the houses have like this nice vibrant tint to them. Even the ocean doesn't look completely blue anymore. The ambiance changes in photography when thunderstorms are present, which is another way to express a story. Thunderstorms give a different appeal of how the photo will turn out, changing the mood of the photo based off the lighting present during these weather conditions. Thunderstorms are my favorite types of photos to shoot because when everything gets really dark midday, it gives a lot of different color to a lot of things around. So um, something that you, you know, during the, in the, sun, during the day in the sunlight you saw as you know, blue turns into a dark gray. Knowing the forecast ahead of time can also help when looking to take photos during and after storming conditions are present. If storms are coming, you can see um, the progression of the storm. You can see the clouds getting closer and closer, and it's kind of like that sense of urgency, that sense of like um, imperative, like desire to like do something. Like oh my gosh, like that wall cloud is coming towards us, or oh that rain cloud is coming towards us. Um, so I think it tells a story by the progression of weather, and then also just of course like what we have currently. Stormy conditions are not always ideal for photography because rain can oftentimes cause water damage to the camera. It is important when shooting photos in wet weather conditions to make sure the camera is covered and protected. On the other hand of that, photos being taken after a storm moves through is also appealing in different aspects as well. After it rains, usually that's also a good time, um, especially like when there's water drop when it's been drizzling. If there's water droplets on the plants, that's really cool. Or if the sun comes out after it's raining, if there's a rainbow, that's amazing and then even if it's just there's just uh, rain in the sun that looks uh, it's a pretty nice combination. Of that. Although many circumstances apply to different photography appeal a less than ideal time to take photos is in sunny fair weather when the sun is at its peak height for the day. So not only do weather conditions impact photography but also the time of day the photo is being taken impacts the outcome of how the photo will appear. Uh, when you have a lot of light especially on a clear crisp blue day uh, in the sky um, you have a, so much light focusing down on your objects that everything will become very bright, very um, overexposed. Sometimes it's not such a good thing because you kind of lack exactly the detail in the photos, but if you take that and let's say move that a couple of hours, so let's say three o'clock when the sun's lower in the sky, you end up getting a lot more vibrant photos where um, the sun being lower will just give you the right amount of light uh, to pick up those nice details and colors. If it's fair weather and the sun is high in the sky, the camera focuses on the light from the sun being scattered in every direction, making the photo overexposed. Photos are considered to be overexposed when they are too light in appearance and the brightness covers up the detail of the photo. It depends on what you're looking for, I guess. I mean, usually having nice natural sunlight is a plus. That's good, um, nice to have. Although sometimes that can create 
unwanted shadows, or sometimes it creates wanted shadows where it's cool that effect the shadows give. Sometimes if you're trying to take pictures of people, um, if they're in the sun, then their eyes might be squinting and it doesn't look nice, or if they're behind the sun, then their face is going to be shouted out. It's, you won't be able to see it. It'd be more of a silhouette. People who keep track of the weather or forecast the weather know when the best time to get a photo is based on the weather conditions that are present. So like usually every day I check the satellite towards the afternoon to see what kind of clouds are above us and what kind of clouds are to the west to see if we're going to have a good sunset because I've learned to recognize what conditions are favorable for good sunsets. So if there are say high clouds um, or even low clouds and then there's clearing to the west at sunset, that's a red flag for me to say, oh, the sunset's going to be good, I need to get ready, I need to go somewhere to take pictures. Whereas if, let's say, the skies are looking good, um, in the middle of the day, like they are right now, we have a nice high clouds, but if there are clouds we've been in from the west, then I'll know, mm, it's probably going to be cloudy and it's probably going to be a bust. Weather itself directly impacts the way a picture will turn out. This is why it is important for photographers to know what message they are trying to tell and match it up with the correct weather setting to effectively do so. For Weather World, I'm Jordan Jenna.